Check this bridge, how accurate it is. It's a very nice guitar, made of foreign call. So, it's an air and it has a powerful tone. It does have a double fretboard of Brazilian raspberry and a maple, bird's eye maple, with the incredible winter pegs, it's several fret. And I will show you some very, very interesting things about these innovations and use these new models because uh, when we compare this with what was the guitars of flamenco made in the past say 50 years ago or more like this guitar here for instance and what we can see first of all this bridge as you can observe here there is a bigger gap than here and again another inconsistency from the second to the first as compared of the distance from the second to the, to the third string. So, uneven distances, while here is just a super perfect bridge, flawless completely. Then also, of course, the size of the top, as you can observe, this is shorter in this size. And also here, this is one of the things that Paco has part to have and for this. Orma shape is much bigger than this, right? You can compare here. Then the fretboard, and of course, these were the, the traditional pegs, which have one problem that Lucy are made of of wood directly to the to the thing as compared to the Whitner pegs, which are mechanical. These ones are mechanical inside, and therefore, this uh, provides a very accurate tuning, are very easy to use, and have the six string in the top one, as opposed to this system, the old system, which have the six in the so called traditional place to be. Right? So, where is the four in the, in the normal one? Now we have here the six string. And then the fourth in the, in the right place of symmetrical placement. So, this is one more thing is that in the past the guitars had only uh, bone saddle, and also here. So, my sound when playing open string will be a combination of bone a sound transmitter and bone here in the, in the, in the left hand. While on this guitar, here we have the zero fret, right, which provides a, uh, it uh, gives accuracy and also durability, tuning capacity, playability, everything is enhanced with the zero fret. Also, the sound is even, will be even because we have the combination of metal on the fretboard and with carbon fiber saddle. And I want to show you here that one very important thing is that the, the setting of this top, perfect Barbero guitar, on the fretboard, the top, and the string itself. Check, check it out how low is this bridge, ultra low, and extra flat with two different wings. For instance, here we can fit three euro coins to measure the the distance of, from the string to the to the top is a very practical way. You can see in Wikipedia what is the measurement if you want. It should not be very difficult to know that because I can do these things with a ruler here. But with three euro coins, in this point, in this point, closer to the bridge, 
there is not much of a gap as you can see it's the same actually this and this distance right? while in traditional guitars well first of all this is the lowest possible bridge with such a powerful projection in this point or in this point there is no sinking of the top down while on this guitar here which is of course very old but this is the this is what is considered a traditional thing here we have four euro coins in one of two cents so five coins as opposed to, to one three here only in this guitar three euro coins here we have four and one more coin to fit and this point of course will be having variation to this point and to obviously here look here, here one, one, one of these will have to go out because actually this guitar has exactly four, four one euro coins distance and this point but if I go here if I go here look, it becomes so much loose now because here there is a gap right. and of course in this point also will be different so this is the consistency of the top and the setting because the, the setting setting has to be actually totally uh, straight meaning that the top right the top and then uh, the string the line that, that it draws the string along with the with the fretboard is harmonious right so it does like this right and of course this is all straight there is no question of of having sinking here and too much of a of a sphere shape after a while happened with us so this here look how straight it is and now if I take the traditional Spanish guitar here then now, now you can see first of all that let's see you can see what I'm seeing here but this is the thing check the distance here and now look at the gap here how much of a of a arbitrary setting it has because it starts here the line now look so this point this point here is just unbelievable the difference say from the 12th fret right in other words this distance here as opposed to this right this is totally a big gap there you see so big and of course and this is the example with a with a with most one of the most perfect guitars made in Spain last 50 60 years ago so besides the fact that also the bridge you, you can observe it has uh, well it's a rosewood bridge but it has the wings same very thick and of same same length and same same thickness right while on this guitar we have the bridge different right because this is this is a shorter and thicker wing than this it's the percussive thing would be much enhanced that way then we also can observe the angle of the of the head Right, which, which is much uh, deep in this Barbero guitar. This is so much better than even the original Barbero for sure. 
as compared to this almost straight thing, right? That's one aspect, and of course the fact that in the past the only guitar known for flamenco was a cypress guitar, it was like this. Now there is the Negra concept that Paco brought to the world. And then, of course, inside, there is another marvelous thing because of the liberated top that this model has here. Uh, five on the bridge, you see how we can see this better probably like this. Just to give you an idea about what it is. That's a big difference. Then the, the, the maple neck is also a very interesting thing, and it has two pieces as well. And the Widner pegs. Widner is just the, totally the best option because this goes directly uh, in contact with the wood and the vibration, therefore. So this here, as, as far as distance is concerned, if you can observe here, this from the 6th to the 1st, there is a lot of room that the string will not go out like that. So having 62 millimeters from the 6 to the 1st, here is big, and here is much narrow. And the, the tradition, it does exactly the opposite. It has a lot of, it has so much distance here is big, and here is contracted, short, probably 56 millimeters. So we're talking about six millimeters difference, the gap here. Of course, that, uh, don't talk about the exactness of the drilling here, because this, this bridge, so Eladio Fernandez was a great uh, luthier here, and the guru of Gerundino, etc., 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 but none of them up to, to, the, to, to nowadays present knows how to drill six hole together, so this is... And then, of course, due to the different uh, design and the reinforcements, which should be, should be here to not have this kind of cracks by the side of the top, which in every Spanish guitar will happen at some point, cracks here. And the only guitar in Spain made that way, which, if you observe here, has another uh, Aranico, another brace, crossing right away at this point, so it would never break anything here. And it has also uh, uh, fretboard uh, scalloped, I mean this, this part, the uh, fretboard is here, right. from the, it's just from the 13th fret to the end, right? So, it's definitely very superior and in sound as well that we will also see because this has also a lateral sound port which offers a, a kind of surrounding sound effect. In fact, sound wise, the projection that the unidirectional guitar center sound hole of the past can have like this, this is the best possible, obviously, uh, which has a quality of sound, but it's a very limited projection. That's the most you can get with this, and if we compare that with the new Because 
does not does not respond. And this is a twenty thousand dollar guitar. It's not just any cheap thing, right? So this should tell you that. And then also, of course, travel or. clean tone. Conceivably, as far as this, the potency that this uh, thick cactus has, but also percussively, because check the volume we have here. Stand out. 
your tuning, choose the, the, the way you want to temper it. And here the same. One octave up. No guitar does the same. Look. Right. And when you do try to stop with the with the fret port, which is not this Hauser and Hauser, that tune's perfect. <laughs> he never said anything. And it's German. This is all the Spanish production. So here we go. So this you have to put always constantly the hand here so it will bend. So we need to need to do a whole training. It's more difficult to tune with these wooden pegs than to play actually. Let's tune this one here for example. So look. If I tune here in this place, if I tune here, then here up will not be safe. Look. Here is okay. But here. I was requested to do this, this review, and then with chords like this, or for example, let's say E, typically me, you know, let's go here, I have a big problem Houston, because this here tunes, and every traditional, no, don't think it's just this guitar, it's every traditional guitar, some sample new or old or any, which traditionally has these flaws, which are rendered it obsolete. So you have here E major, and this is okay, but look, that's right, but now when I go here, look. So if I tune this right here, if I tune here, it doesn't tune this place. not bent at all. I show how the test is in another video which I will also post there. You place the pinky finger of the right hand here on the last fret and finger one here and then here in between should not be uh, distance from the strings, right? So this, this is a specific model which, which have one millimeter or less of compensation etc. This is a very specific topic but just to see if it's bent or not uh, this year, this is not bent at all in, in 60 years it was made so 60 years ago. And therefore, it's not about that the, 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 the fretboard is bent, the fretboard is perfect. In fact, only maybe 5% of all any Spanish traditional guitar survives more than 70 years without being bent. They are all bent fretboards. Most of what you can see just. Uh, the average stuff, right? So this here, so if you are tuning one place, you will tune in the other also. Right? No, it's not that. First you tune, so tune as you like here. Then here will be same. This is down.
difficult intervals to tune this third major, right? There we go. So here you observe that the dynamic in the one octave low is the same exactly. setting which is perfect remember that the real deal about this this action topic is totally misunderstood with this distance measuring only the distance from the string to the to the to the to the fret or to the fret here this is 2.5 3 .5. this is a nonsense that Pat told me this is wrong we have to consider the line of the fretboard the line of the that the strings draw and the line of the top all three and when this corresponds and it has exact measurement, uh, consistency from here to here and from here to here, because all the problems with the, with the uh, uh, bone uh, saddles is that they wear off, this wears off, and then it will, the point where it rests the string will also change. And, and less than a millimeter that this is wear off, it will alter the tuning, and same with the right hand. Besides the fact that the, that the material couldn't be worse for us as a sample of nickel tape, we demonstrate you how it's so. Because the, the bone is so much, it's so weighty. This is the material of a traditional thing. This is the only guitar in the world which has carbon fiber saddle which is so so much different because of the weight and the sound and check the, check the sound of the, the sound of the bone a dead object and check this this is like like crystal look so this is different again bone So here we are. That's it. That's the of course tuning. Because this never changed with the zero fret here. This is exact same distance. This will take so much more time to wear off a fret than a saddle. And it doesn't give you any any uniformity in the tone because here why people like to play with, with cape all the time for because it sounds a bit brighter than if I go up and you see thick look. But now when I do this is dark. Why? Because I am with the with the sound of the bone as transmitter and bone here. While on this here we have we have the effect like having the capo all over because we have the zero fret metal all over the fretboard. And carbon fiber, right and saddle. So that's right. And it's also right. And open a string. It's also same, same right sound. So for flamenco, this is idea. Right. This is one. And then, of course, with the with rosewood guitars, we can talk about the the aspect of of the uh, balance thing of the weight, which is. Yes, beyond the imaginable possibilities of what the, the guitar is, right? Because after all, it will come to to what you are used to. to, to if you reference, if the only thing you know is, is ebony fretboards, then how, how you will understand? I can be talking here for hours and days, and you will never get what is to play a fretboard like this. Because this again, this is a fretboard which is so much lighter, and there is a reason why Stradivari used maple for the for the neck of the violin. Up to today, up to today's don't matter.
the projection and the cladding task percussively. Well, it is very complete. So, thanks to Stella and to G and to the team of the school. Thanks to everyone and thanks to you for listening. la música popular y qué es la música elitista yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular por ejemplo el flamenco el flamenco originalmente es una música popular la música del pueblo de Andalucía pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el, en el que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música.